To get alteration to 100 in two minutes, just like for destruction in this video, you're gonna need a few things first. The few things I'm referring to is at least 11,000 gold. Thing number two, you're gonna need the spell for telekinesis, which you can find way over here in the rift at Redwater Den, located here on the map. Go ahead and fast travel there. And now no one is going to attack you here if you just kind of walk past. Actually, let's read this skill book for block. Let's go. And then we can come right down here like nothing happened. Just don't antagonize nobody and you won't be antagonized. So let's go down here and we're going to get stopped by this man, the doorman. It's an interesting name. Mother must not have been original. Anywho, so now that we're down here, we're going to see this lady that's caged up. And we're going to, and ironically, she's not a prisoner. We're going to ask her for a sample because she's the dealer. That's gonna level up your speech too. It should work 100% of the time. Uh, this, this looks like a nice chap. Seems to be noble. Let's go on ahead and drink our drugs in here with him. So we're gonna come down here to the bottom and red water skooma stores 40 stamina. Doesn't really matter because we are about to be drugged out of our minds. And if you'll just stand here and wait, it will slowly take you into a cutscene with a whole bunch of vampires. Spoiler alert. Sorry, should have waited a little bit for the screen to come on fully. But you can tell, that guy is a vampire. And that's the dealer that betrayed us, Loki Haki. And right here, down to our right, you'll see the spell tome in question for telekinesis. I don't know why that's not working. Go ahead and sneak, hit him with the old lock pick. And this is where it's gonna get a little bit dicey. You're gonna have to make a grand escape. Aw, oh, Dorman, not you, Dorman. Shoot. Ah. Man, sometimes people just live long enough to become the villain. What's that quote from Batman, I think? That guy, I'm dormant. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Shoo, man, that went right through the head, bro. And he lived. It's like a Subaru commercial. Holy crap. Okay, so now we've already got two out of the three things that we need. Third thing, however, is gonna be a little bit more difficult to nab. So let's go down here to Windhelm Stables, located here on the map. I'm off here to the right of Windhelm, and we're gonna see some docks down here with two boats. Anywho, you're gonna come and talk to this man, Galland salt sage and you're just gonna have to ask him why won't you do something or another and yes you're taking me to soul Sam. and then you can pay him a thousand gold or you can persuade him so now that we have raven rock on the map you'll see yeah you can see it there that that nordic ruin is where we're going to be heading to you can see it on the map it's about right in here somewhere and it's called kolbjorn cave we'll go ahead and put our marker there Colbjorn Barrow, my bad. I am illiterate. But you really don't need to mark it because literally it's right here. Like, and obviously not much to Colbjorn Barrow the first time we walk up, but let's talk to Rallis. What's the matter with you, man? Why are you mining with that pickaxe instead of the one on your belt? I.e., why do you have two pickaxes? What happened, brother? Okay, why well, not hire some miners? Raven Rock. Okay, so now we have to fund his experiment or fund his excavation. There we go. Are you looking for a partner? Of course, a thousand gold. All right, and now it says wait for a message from Rallis. Now, the best way to do this, I've looked all over the internet to find the best way to wait for a courier, and it seems to be right here in Raven Rock. So let's go on ahead and wait three days uninterrupted. All right, now that we waited three days, we're going to shoot up these steps, and I've, I've tried it many, many ways. This is the best way. This is from Welsh Wizard. I want to give credit where credit is due. Damn. I had no idea how to do this. So let's go on ahead and wait one hour, wait two hours, wait three hours separately just like that, and now we should be able to bounce down here and you'll see the courier spawns right there. And now we can talk to him. And now he's gonna give us that excavation note. You don't actually have to read it. You can just head right back to Olbjorn Barrow. Oh man, looks pretty dope. Looks pretty dope. Let's go ahead and talk to Rallis though, right here. What's going on? What now? Now you can walk, you can read all of these different volumes that he's working on and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to, but that is not for this video. We're going to go ahead and skip past those. Now, let's go kill these Draugr in the depths. Boom, right in the hip. Or, well, kidney back area. Dude, stealth archers are pretty... I mean, they're pretty balanced, TBH. Dude, I couldn't think of a more balanced way to play the game, to be honest. Let's go on ahead and grab this right here. And that's going to activate that door there. Back up to our main man, Rallis. Now, you're going to want to watch this whole video because there is a very confusing thing that happens down in here. But, for now... We're going to go on ahead, talk to Rallis, and he's going to need to, gosh, that was almost, my skills are almost too good there, Rallis. You almost died, buddy. Here, 2,000 gold. And now we got to go wait for a message. This isn't me making this noise. See, he's got a little bit more of a camp made up here. What is it this time? Yeah, we've had some luck dealing with the drug here. Let's have us just go deal with everything, Rallis. I mean, shoot. New Draugr. Boom. 
Thread the needle. Booyah. Let's go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now you can see the glitches that I'm talking about right here. With this stuff right here, it's kind of glitched out and you can't really see too good. So that kind of sucks. But, okay, here we go. Here's another Death Lord. Let's go right through here. Now, this is a pretty straightforward place. As long as you realize that there are those glitches every now and then. So now that we're here to this puzzle right here, you are going to go on ahead and hit the bottom one. And then hit the second to top. Just like that. Should open it up for you. There are going to be some not so fun guys here. And now that we've got those guys, there another guy? Maybe out here. And you can see this is literally just glitched out, but it is a walkway. Okay, I guess that was just a glitch. And now we have to speak to Rawless. Now, this is a very buggy place, or it seems to be a buggy place anyway. So let's go on ahead and come back out and speak to Rawless. Just be wary of the things you can and can't walk through. Definitely check everything um, when you're in here. There are some secrets that you can find, but nothing too important except for the armor set. That might, may or may not be covered in another video. I've defeated the Draugr. Okay, the missing miners, they're dead. Yeah, 3,000 gold, as expected. All right, and now we gotta go back to Ravenrock to get another message. You tend to get those, though. Okay, let's go up this way. And we'll, and then we're gonna come right back out and talk to Rallis. All the Draugr are dead. How much? Five thousand gold. Okay, so that doesn't really matter to me. Let's go wait. Let's go wait about seventy-five hours and come back. Yep, that's the last thing he says he's delivering for him. So hopefully, hopefully this is it for my boy Rallis. And we can see literally everything here. Everything here is dead. Everyone here. And all we can see is this volume right here. And you can read all of these if you want to help shine some more light here on this quest but as i said earlier i'm not going to do that so i'm going to show you every bit of this i'm not cutting anything out of my adventure through here i want you guys to see exactly how to get through so i'm going to come through here I'm go up and kill this guy I mean, this is gonna gotta get live commentary style um, because I really, do, I really want you guys to get where this is. So let's go on ahead and come down. Actually, let's go where I just killed that guy. Right in the soul. Nice. Now that we're in here, we can literally just come right down here, up these steps, or well, I thought up these steps, down the steps if you're coming this way, right down these steps you're gonna see this right here now that looks like you obviously can't go through it oh but you can oh but you can and you'll be greeted sorry by these draugr here and now if you want to get the armor right there it's going to be whale whale if you don't it's going to be whale hawk or hawk hawk and you're going to come down this way into the depths below and then you can go that way if you want to and get that armor or you can just come straight up here which is the way we're gonna go because we don't care now this guy has been possessed apparently the entire time like i said you can always go on ahead and read the lore if you want and there we go azudal is dead and these guys should obviously die and we will get as a reward 250 gold and the mask for azudal which is actually pretty solid to be honest and now you can confront our boy Rallis for being possessed. I don't really know how that's his fault. I feel like he kind of just got possessed. I don't feel like he tried to. I'm going to let him go. I don't really care. We're going to come through this sarcophagus. And let's continue in here. And you'll see this weird looking room that we're about to have to go into. If you've never been in here, this is a room for a black book. There's obviously going to be leveled gear over here. That you can find really cool stuff in there. But that is not what we're here for. We're here for this black book, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go on ahead and pick this bad boy up. Man, this is absolutely intriguing. Go ahead and deal with this guy. That was easy. Deal with that seeker guy. I mean, these guys are obviously going to be higher level, I think. But I'm not really for sure, to be honest with you. And that is going to be the main boss of this area. Let's go on ahead open this guy up and it's going to take him a minute to get up here and we're going to get three dots up, up here above this hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up oh my gosh and we're going to get the middle one here the secret of arcana boom secret of arcana added and we're going to run all the way back because we can't read the black book while we're in combat now i'm actually going to try to take this guy down 
Boom, let's go. We killed him. So now that we're not in combat, we can come to our books and read the black book for filament filigree and back out of our menu. And it's going to give us the little cutscene. So now that we've done that, we can get out of here, pull this lever and go on up out of here. Hopefully you guys were able to follow that. Hey, I guess that's a glitch too. You could have just walked through that. See, it's very, very confusing this area, almost like it wasn't finished or something. Okay, so now we are back to where we know we can get out of here pretty easily and meet me back in Skyrim. Now, I'm going to be traveling from Riften Stables all the way over to Markarth Stables. So, that's the furthest distance that I can really see feasible. It's really easy to get those two locations. Now, what we're going to want to do, we have to have a item to use telekinesis on and we have to be able to use telekinesis. Now, it's all about timing, ladies and gentlemen. These these gods literally for these two spells are all about I don't want to read solitude. I don't want to read the dossier. I want to okay, learn telekinesis finally. Alteration telekinesis. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay, now that we've done this, let's go on ahead and come down here to Powers. We're going to see the Secret of Arcana. Spells cost no Magicka for 30 seconds. You have to have this to make this telekinesis trick work, by the way. So, now, let's go down to Miscellaneous Items. Let's find something like a bowl, for example. We'll go ahead and drop that on the ground. Go to Alteration, put Telekinesis in our hands, both hands. And now, we need to make sure that our Alteration isn't already leveled up okay yes alteration fresh level 16 i guess i read a skill book so now that we've got it at level 16 we're going to look at our bowl over the stupid dragon soul to absorb now this actual method literally will take less than two minutes no lie it's not clickbait i swear literally this is going to take two minutes so let's go ahead and activate that power you can see that pick this guy up go ahead and hit map and you can let go of the buttons at this point go to map Come all the way over to Markarth Stables from the Riften Stables. And first off, you'll see we're still casting it. Then you can see the level up thing up here that wasn't there before. And Alteration is at level 100, ladies and gentlemen. So cool. So easy. If you guys want to see how to level up destruction in this same way, I'd strongly encourage you to watch this video right here. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I cannot believe that by the time this video comes out, we're probably going to have 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for that. The Lord has blessed this beyond my wildest dreams, honestly. And I would encourage you guys to please don't forget to read your Bibles. And obviously, you have to pray, guys. It's so important in these times. Thank you all so much once again for all that you do. I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to like the video to help get it out to more and more people and don't forget to go down to the bottom of the description and read the verse of the video thank you all so much once again i can't say it enough but above all else thank you for your time have a blessed day peace